The Council has to help us. You don't sound so sure. Nothing's sure. Look around you. What options do we have? Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The Defense Committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reavers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. You know we're not ready if it is then. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one, then blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian Relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the Committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the Committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard! Ashley? Lieutenant Commander? How'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. Lieutenant Commander? You hadn't heard? No, I hadn't. Sorry, Shepard. It's been... well...
That's okay. Just glad I bumped into you, Ash. Me too. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... There must be some way. If we're gonna have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? It couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight, or we die. We should get to the Normandy. playthrough of Mass Effect 3. This is Hill, and we have an even more modded adventure in store for us. Um, I'm going to have to adjust the lighting, it looks like, because I've, I've added some sort of a dynamic uh, lighting mod, and it really seems to put some of the faces into deep shadow. I'm going to have to brighten this up a little bit. We'll do that off camera, though. But I just wanted to let you know what mods I'm going to be using this time. We've got 10 of them, and the links will be in the description. 
So to start off, we're using the A Lot mod, A Lot of Textures for Mass Effect 3. It is a vanilla friendly, exhaustive, and easy to install graphical overhaul mod. We're also using number two, EGM, the expanded Galaxy mod, which adds a huge number of changes, both large and small, to improve the overall gameplay giving the user a more personalized experience. Number three, Mehem. And that stands for Mass Effect 3 Happy Ending Mod. I can't play Mass Effect 3 without this. It introduces quite a few changes to the game's finale, resulting in a brighter outcome for Commander Shepard. And we have P-E-O-M number four, which is the Priority Earth Overhaul mod. It's a comprehensive attempt to rework and improve the final mission in every way possible. Number five, M-E-3 Recalibrated. It's a series of bug fixes, content restorations, and lore corrections. One of the things you may notice early on is going to be Commander Bailey's hair color. Yes, it's going back to silver like in Mass Effect 2. And we have at number six, Project Variety. It is a major overhaul of ME3. And I don't know all the details, but hey, I'm sure it's going to be great. Number seven, better dreams. I've always hated the dreams. Now we have an overhaul. It seeks to make all the dreams feel like real nightmares with new lore-friendly alternatives. Number eight, the Ark mod. It's an additional hazard maps, an entirely new N7 mission, six new enemy types, and restored content. At number nine, a human Edie. It gives Edie a human appearance. This may be controversial for some, but I think it's going to be easier to accept Edie as human looking in her relationship with Joker. It's just easier to swallow. <laughs> All right, and then finally at number 10, we have the single player native controller support mod because I am terrible at mouse and keyboard. I've tried, haven't done a good job, so hey, we got our controller running here. And also, this playthrough is going to be distinctly different from the last one that I did. Uh, we are using a save from the Mass Effect Saves website. This time we have a Paragon. And we also have Ashley as a survivor, as you've already seen earlier. All right. Let me give myself some abilities here. And we chose Carnage as a bonus ability because it is going to be a catalyst, pardon, pardon the pun, for a lot of the tech powers. And by the way, I don't think I mentioned that we are playing as an engineer. Okay, let's see. I'm going to give myself the full uh, passives here so we can level up quickly. Some damage protection. Let's see, we're going to need overload. Right. I think that 
that's it. Okay, let's follow in behind. Let's move. Admiral Anderson, who has been patiently waiting. Look out! How do you stop something so powerful? Take a running jump. It's farther than it looks. Come on, let's go. to go this way. Looks clear. Let's go. Come on. Let's keep moving. Lieutenant Commander, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. I've got Lieutenant Vega with me, but we're taking heavy fire. Husks! Take him out! can use my Omni tool to create a cryogenic wave. Come on, we gotta move. To freeze those things solid. Have to take these things out the old fashioned way. Don't let them grab you. Go. How could I have shot anyway when I don't have any ammo? All right, we may need to brighten this right now. Let's see. Options. Well, if not sound. Mm, it is brighter. All right, we'll just put it up one here. Watch it! All right. Through this way. help you. Come here. I need to get you someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't stop them all. Shepard! In here. Machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. I understand how you feel. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worse knowing no matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. Exactly. I get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel, talk to the Council. It might be the only thing that saves us. The Council has to help us. 
You don't sound so sure. Nothing's sure. Look around you. What options do we have? Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Grab some ammo. Reload, let's keep moving. All right, now we can shoot our gun. Oh. Lieutenant Commander Williams, we're in fight of the space force. ETA, three minutes. We've made it to the Normandy, taking heavy fire. Oh, God. They're going to take down that dreadnought. Invasive maneuvers. Lieutenant Commander, Ashley. Damn it, they're in trouble. Cryo-catalyst combo seems to work very well. I'm sorry, cryo-carnage-catalyst combo. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We tried to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. Come on. Let's get to that gunship. I think we're clear. Good work, Anderson. Look at this. An M8 Avenger. All right, and here we are at the radio. Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship in the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. <laughs> Lieutenant! <laughs> Damn it! I lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast! We've got company.
to get there soon. You and me both. Always love the engineer class. These combos are incredible, and I know I know this is the uh, it's an unloved class that you know people don't really play much, but it really is a lot of fun. Since they added combos in Mass Effect 3, it's actually, uh, you know, just as devastating as um, a biotic character. Perhaps even more. All right, are, are, have we got him? saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. If you stay, I'm staying. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order. I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. Makes you wonder back for you. how long It'll he's been holding on to those dog tags. Good luck. You too, Shepard. 